up, everybody? Me and Marshall are gonna try to fix the Jeep. My strap broke on my door, and the guy at the shop told me a way I could fix it, so I'm gonna give it a whirl. Marshall's gonna help. And there you have it. Drill through, fold it over on itself. Got a lock washer, lock nut, rather. See the little nylon ring in there. Once you tighten it down, hold it down permanent like. And then it'll nestle right in there. No one ever. A boing, a boing, a boing, a boing. Hooray. You can't, I mean, you can't even see it because the majority of the nut stuff's behind, or the bolt rather is behind the framework. So perfect. You guys to see that man that's a cool shot it's so windy it's got that gigantic flag you can see underneath there's a four-door truck so got had that thing standing straight out there's a nice view of Prescott as we're coming into town Thumb Butte remember Thumb Butte fat man climbs a volcano <laughs> that's it right there pretty cool see you in a little bit me and Marshall are gonna go duck hunting Woohoo! Me Marshall going hunting. Dunk hunting. We're gonna get one this time. He's my good luck charm. He's my retriever. So when I shoot the duck and it falls in the river, he said he'd swim out and get it. I didn't say anything about that. Give you guys the beautiful vista. That is Arizona. And of course it's snow tonight. Yeah, they are calling for snow tonight, so we'll see. What's today? The 4th? The 5th? CB head? It's the 4th. 4th, November 4th. They're going to call for snow. That's crazy. Uh, today they call for snow? They're calling for snow, yeah. So we'll see. If it snows, that'll be that'll make YouTube, I guarantee it. So wish us luck. Because not for snow, for ducks. And we'll have gumbo tomorrow. So... Might as well just do dumbo tonight because we have gas in the grill. <laughs> yeah, the grill ran out of gas last night. I did non bread again and threw it on the grill five seconds later. The dang thing shut off and ran out of gas. So, oh well, which one? That non bread was good. Yeah, I did it in a frying pan. It turned out really good like that. I might do it like that from now on because uh, that was pretty simple and easy. And Marshall mounted up. He liked it a lot. It turned out better this time. I didn't cook it as much, so it wasn't as charred and crusty. Uh, soft and chewy, soft and chewy, and perfectly delicious. So, wish us luck. We're off to the wilderness that is the Verde River. And I'll check back with you guys in a little bit. The Verde, yep. Well, everybody, we got skunked. Yeah. Shenanigans. But still. Fun. Yeah, it's fun. It's beautiful out here. And you just can't flat beat anywhere in Arizona where you can spend an hour and a half, two hours walking up along a babbling brook. But got skunked the first time I've ever been on this spot not seen uh, birds on the water or, you know, flying through the air scaring the crap out of me like those geese did. Um, <laughs> Jeep looks nice sitting next to the water. That's kind of cool. We're calling it the Jedi Jeep from now on. And weather changed on us, big time. Like I told you, there's snow predicted down to 5,000 feet. We set it about 5,300, so we're within the snow range. Yeah, um, it's locked up the Yeah, the moon was shining through too. Look at all those gnats. You guys see that? Bazillions of gnats. The whole cloud. They're following Marshall like pig pen from the peanuts. <laughs> Watch your back. Oh, uh, anyway, didn't see anybody this time. No no traffic or nothing. Sure as heck didn't see no ducks. So, was it a bark? I don't know if it was a bark or a croaking bullfrog or... I think it was a bark. Like a dog bark? Weird. So, yeah, we went and investigated that. Looks like a big wad of uh, mistletoe up in that tree. See that? Oh, is that a nest? Did a bird just fly in there? Huh. 
Not gone wild kingdom on you. <laughs> so anyway, skunked totally. Didn't even see anything today. But I'm gonna keep hitting this spot because I know. I mean, every time I, I've been out here, there's birds on it. I told him to go shoot in the bushes where he saw the ducks come out. Geese. Whatever. Yeah, he wanted me to fire a, a warning shot, I guess, and scare him out. But. And then shoot, shoot them on the roof. Mm-hmm. It doesn't always work like that. So. Random oh well. Random shots, yeah. Mine couldn't have hurt. Yeah, but those things are about a buck and a quarter a piece for that steel shot. <laughs> That's all right. All right, we're gonna head back. I gotta go get gas for the grill. Cause mommy wants to do, she got this 24 ounce porterhouse steak for like six dollars. It's it's huge. I'll show it to you when you see it. It's it's massive. So we're gonna grill that up and probably roast some asparagus on the grill too. So I'm sorry I'm not paying much attention to you guys. It's just absolutely gorgeous out here, kind of, you know, serene, a little mesmerizing. So here's a here's a little indicative point. See all that pile of crap up there? That's flood debris. Give you an idea of how deep it gets here. Oh, it's raining. Ha. Look at that, internet. <laughs> Rain in Arizona. Well, it's going to have to change over quite a bit before that snow. It's still 65 degrees out here. Oh, yeah. That's trippy. Wow, look at them all. The bazillion of since started raining, they were like, run for cover! <laughs> I think those are water bugs. Could be. All right, so that was fortuitous. That's kind of a portentous, I guess. We'll see. I don't know. So, okay, peace out, everybody. We'll see you later. So, me and Marshall decided to take the scenic route back. We'll come around the corner onto this view. It's Cottonwood, Birdie Valley. And then right there, perched precariously on the side of the hill, is a little town of Jerome. You saw me and camera local local tourists in Bay Jerome or something like that. But wow, what a view! Twisty, turny little road, but quite a little view when it's all said and done. So there, you can see the big mine. Jerome. So, not really sure where this is gonna come out. It's an adventure. What's up, everybody? Gonna whip Marshall's butt in a little game of, uh, what is this? Minotaur. Minotaur, Lego game. Marshall actually built this game himself actually, from a Lego yeah, kit. Yeah. So, that's kinda cool. So, we're gonna play, but um, after that, going to bed. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Say good night. Thank you.